vlogs welcome back so um as you can tell i have zero makeup on and i also am not doing the normal setup that i'm used to it is still in front of like where i normally film but there's a ton of stuff that i'm putting away for storage and i just didn't feel like taking out my lighting equipment and doing all the craziness of filming they're actually on my windowsill in the back room i don't know if it's distracting is it, is it distracting just pretend i don't have eyeballs <laughs> you're probably wondering where the hell have i been yeah, I went away to Cuba and stopped filming. I'm okay. There wasn't like a tornado or something. I'm fine. Um, a couple things that have been going on in my life at the moment. Um, I actually got a new job. My last update video, I'm pretty sure I said I got a new job. I have a lot of jobs. <laughs> uh, Tori needs a little money and they got another job because I need the hours for more monies. Um, yeah, so at the moment, um, I typically have three jobs, but I don't at the same time. Um, at some point I'm going down just to one of them hopefully by the end of the month because it's a lot for me right now like I have a lot going on and I don't really know what I'm doing and because I have three jobs it lacks a time that I can actually film for you guys so that's a huge thing that's been going on is that I have no time to film and when I do finally have time there's so many people at the house now and also the cat as well like there's a huge thing like I cut it out of 90% of my videos the cat destroys my lighting equipment I don't know what he has what vendetta he has against my lighting equipment but there are scenes that I have of him jumping on my lighting equipment when I'm filming or knocking over my makeup or licking shadows like it's just what do you have against my makeup I don't don't get as soon as I go down to just one I will be coming out with more videos but just be prepared that I'm lacking the quality of videos that I prefer and lacking the times that I can film so I'm sorry <laughs> another portion of this video I did want to talk about the Cuba trip it was a lot of fun it was a family trip I ended up bringing one of my best friends on uh, the trip with me Erica you're gonna see her in the video and the reason why I haven't uploaded the video is because when we finally got to Cuba I brought this camera with me and she brought her GoPro which is waterproof so we used her GoPro the whole time. I maybe took two photos on this camera and that was it. Uh, so I have zero footage. She is going to be making a video for me and for herself, obviously, but she's gonna save it and then she's gonna do a second save, but it's gonna have my name in the corner and I'm gonna give her my login and she's gonna post it whenever she finally is ready. If it's a year, three years, doesn't matter. Um, so thank you so much for actually filming anything, Erica, and thank you for actually uploading it on my channel. So good on you. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. It will be in the description box down below if you want to follow me on Instagram. But um, recently, uh, it was my birthday. My birthday's May 4th. Um, I'm now currently 24 years old. I'm still a kid. I don't really, I don't really know what I'm doing. I want to show you things that I bought for myself during that time period. Like some stuff that people like bought for me for my birthday. There are a few things that I got for my birthday that I actually can't show in the video because A, I haven't gotten it yet because some people um, I haven't seen yet they told me that they got me something or like my parents like they got me something that I had to exchange for a different size so that will be in the video or things that I've already worn a few times that I'm now it's currently in the laundry <laughs> so there are things in this video that I'm so sorry if, I, if it's not in the video it's not that I didn't want to show it or I'm like somehow keeping things secret it's just the fact that like I don't have it on me at the moment so these are everything that I have on me at the moment and I want to talk about. So. First thing we're going to talk about is some things that I got for myself the past little while or on the day of my birthday. With my new job we need um, to have like kind of like a pouch on us or we need to have stuff to like carry change and stuff because I am a server and I end up getting um, this Herschel bag. It's like a fanny pack and they all wear fanny packs there so I decided to get myself just a gray neutral fanny pack. I think I'm going to put like like pins and stuff on it. Um, when I become more adventurous or I become more like comfortable with the job I might get something that's like more colorful but I just kind of want something that was light but still neutral you know. Three tops. The one that I'm wearing on my body at the moment because I don't have green in my wardrobe I don't know why I just don't and I thought this was a very beautiful green color so I was like you know what Let's try green. This white top, it kind of looks like a doily, but it's not because it's super cute. Ah! Okay, so it's really see-through, so I have to wear like a white bra with it. I'm totally fine with that. Um, this is the front where it has these little like clasps thing at the front, and then also has like this opening at the back. And with my new tattoo for the full back, um, it shows it beautifully. So I'm just like, girl, okay, 
Okay, I see you. So it has the same fit where it has the claps in the front and it has the open back in the back. The only difference is that there's no doily stuff at the bottom. It's just like this yellowy, bluish, white flowers on it. See? That's what I love about this camera. It just auto focuses. It's really sweet on. I don't know. I'll take more photos in it and you'll probably see it. Just follow my Instagram and you'll probably see it. <laughs> Another thing that I bought for myself is a makeup bag. I bought it at like Winners or Marshalls, like those places, and I really, really liked this bag. Number one favorite animal of all time is a corgi. I will own one one day and I will cry every day that I have it. Um, another one is llama. Just the same body shape and they're just so weird. We have a llama on it. Look at its face. It's so big. Massive reusable bag, but it doesn't matter because this is my life. These are just a few things that I picked up for myself, but now I'm gonna show you stuff that like, the stuff I have that other people gave me. I'm so sorry. I straight up love Canadian things. I just love them. So this is a sweater. Yeah, so it's really, really like cozy and I just think it's really nice and just really warm as well. And I love anything. Canadian. I don't know why. I just have a thing about Canadian stuff because I am Canadian. I love representing Canada. So I just love having something that's Canadian. My aunt actually got me this sweater. And funny thing about my aunt, she literally will message me when I don't post a video being like, you didn't post a video this week. What's happening? You good? Like you have not And I'm just like, yes, I'm so sorry, Aunt Terry. Like I didn't post. I didn't have time. Like I'm sorry. And she's like, yeah, it's just like, I don't know. Like I get notifications every Monday and that's like what I look forward to every Monday is you posting a bit and you didn't post. And I was like, I'm so sorry. Ah. Uh, so yes, thank you so much. That's absolutely lovely. And thank you for the lovely sweater. So Love ya. <laughs> so, on to what my parents got me. My parents are insane. The first thing I ever got was... Ah! <laughs> my addiction is real. It's so real. So this is the KL Polish. This is her um, spring collection. Um, I'm not going to be doing a video on what all the colors look like because I'm sure you can find them anywhere and also I just don't have the time. I'm just going to go in with this color right here because it's the one that I'm wearing on my nails at the moment. And this is Miss Kensington. So this is Miss Kensington. I have it on my nails at the moment. It's like this really pale green and I just love pale colors. I just think they're so pretty. It's super soft and I thought it would match kind of the like shirt that I'm wearing right now. It's a lot lighter. A little bit lighter. This is the next one that I got. This one's called Dream Boy. Um, it does look like at least on camera, it does look like the other pale colors that she has come out with. Let's actually just bring them out. I have an obsession, don't worry about it. These are all the colors that I have. So that's Miss Kensington, Hug and Roll, Paper Snow, and also St. Clair. Um, they're very similar in colors, but I feel like on camera, the closest that it's to, like in person, these two look very, very similar, but on camera, this is Miss Kensington and St. Clair side by side. On camera, it looks like they're closer together. More purple and one is more blue. This is like the first time I've ever been like, they look similar to these colors. I have an obsession because I have so many. Pinky. Uh, this one is one of those, um, it's very clear shades, but I use it at work. And to be honest with you, I think it's a very stunning color. Next one that I have is Charmed. This one is that like very shimmery purple color, has a bit of blue in it, a bit of green, looking kind of crazy. I feel like this might be really, really good for the summer. Gum would be Perfection, which is the pink one. This one is like this cute baby pink. Um, I absolutely love pinks on me, to be completely honest. So I have a lot of pinks by her because I'm insane. So these are everything kind of close to it. Nothing's really like suiting it too, too much, but these are all the pinks that I have. Some would be Perfection, Mommy Martha, uh, M.I.A. or Mia. There's also Pinky and November. So these are the ones that I have. Yeah, so Gum would be Perfection and Pinky. This one's more nude and this one's obviously more pink and pastel-y. And this one obviously has a little bit more of that sheer and this one is a little bit more opaque. Last one in the collection is Celine. So this one is the first one I ever tried out. Absolutely love it. I love yellows. There's nothing more to say about it. It's like an ashy yellow. It's absolutely beautiful. So these look a little dirty because I've been wearing them every single day since my birthday. Boop, boop, I got Converse. And the other thing that I got from them is another pair of Converse because my parents are insane, the high top white ones. These ones are 
absolutely classics. I get them every like two years. I destroy the crap out of them, but I absolutely love them. I got a lot of stuff for my birthday this year, and to be honest with you, I'm so grateful for that because all these people that like give me gifts, I actually don't expect them. I just kind of like, you know what? Thank you. I don't really know why you're giving them to me. I'm 24. I don't need these things anymore. I can I can get them if I need them. But thank you so much for everyone who A, came out for my birthday, wished me a happy birthday, and even got me stuff for my birthday. Like, thank you so much. That is absolutely phenomenal. Even though I've been going through uh, a bunch of stuff of the past little while, um, I'm really not going to get into detail with it because there's no point to. I'm not, I'm not petty and I'm not going to talk about personal stuff that isn't really going to be news in a few months, so who cares. Um, but I am dealing with a little bit of stuff that I wanted to, to say and I really wanted to honestly thank all my friends, all my family, everyone who's actually been there like every step of the way for me and has helped me come out of this dark past and everyone who has helped me do that, you are like honestly the the people that I go to about everything and the people that I want, want to spend time with, people that I want to help and people who I want to change with and, and grow up with and the people who just disappear when things are dark, you know what? I don't I don't want you in my life if all you're gonna be is that person when you're around when I'm when I'm in my good days or in my in my good times. I don't need that. I, I, I need people who, who want to help me when I'm in my dark in my darkness coming into my light. And I don't need people who are only there during my light and then blame me for not being okay during my dark times. So you know what? I, I need to grow up and I, I, I'm 24 years old and I need to now associate myself with people who give a shit about me and I give a shit about them. So I'm done with petty stuff. I'm done with being this negative person and I'm really trying to work on me for the first time in my life and I'm going to declutter my life of jobs and and clothing and and people and making my life a lot less stressful and a lot more healthy for me. So I know that doesn't make any sense for the people probably watching this. I want to be able to appreciate the people I'm with and the people that are in my life for the long haul and who have been there for me through thick or thin, darkness or light, they're there for me. And to be honest with you, that's the only thing that you need in your life. You may not have a lot of friends, you might not have a lot of family, but the people in your life, if they don't treat you the way that you deserve to be treated, it's better to be alone than to be surrounded by negative people and surrounded by people who, who hurt you every day and who hurt you all the time. So I'm just happy to finally accept that, understand that, and to just try to be me because at the end of the day, the only person who's really going to be there for you is yourself. So why are you allowing people to walk all over you? Why are you allowing people to treat you this way if you can't treat yourself better? So again, I want to thank everybody who's been there um, for me for all of this because I'm doing better and I'm trying to be happier and I'm trying to be more me and appreciating a lot more than I ever have because I have a lot more than other people do. and. I want to be a better person and the only way to be a better person is to be around better people. So I'm very happy to have the people in my life that I do. This is for all the people out there who are at least watching my videos and want some kind of inspirational talk. Just you come first. Make yourself come first. You might have people in your life that you put first, but guess what? The first person who comes first is you. So be selfish, take risks. Put yourself out there and even though you might not be 100%, one day, hopefully, you and me will get there. And the only way to do that is surround yourself with just people who care. You can't care for people who don't care for you. So, take care of yourself, be there for yourself, and have fun. Anyways, I know that's such a long rant and I'm so weird and inspirational. I don't normally do it. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next Monday, hopefully, and every Monday after that. Love you all. Bye-bye.